Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Try. Today we're going to be trying this game, Unpossible, with me, Alex of Gameworks. So first off, let's look at the settings. It's all your pretty basic stuff. Sound on and off, music off, and on. Graphics, high and normal, which there really isn't a difference. I played with both. It doesn't really change anything. It just, high makes it like a little brighter, but slightly. Um, sensitivity, just for, you know, the WASD, how fast that moves you. Um, so this game is an infinite runner. One of those types of games. And apparently it already came out on Android, and this is the PC port, I guess, of it. Um, so there's th three different modes on this. Or four, but I haven't gotten to the fourth one yet. There's cruise, which just lets you just fucking go as long as you can forever. Um, no matter whether you fuck up or anything, you just go. There's a different daily map every day. This is the easiest difficulty, and it's just randomly generated. Um, this is the second, the medium difficulty, pretty much. And again, there's a daily map, and then a randomly generated one. And then there's these, which I haven't managed to get to yet. I spent about 45 minutes trying to get 60 seconds in Feudal to unlock this. Haven't managed it yet. Maybe I'll do it here. So first off, let's just start with the basic one. As you can see, this is the easiest difficulty. Um, well named, because it's pretty easy. Uh, you'll be hearing the music right now, and the music's kind of nice. I like it. It could be a little more, I don't know, like intense and hectic in my opinion. It matches the tone of the visuals well, but I don't know, it's it's just a tad too calm for my tastes. I like if I'm gonna have this like hectic feeling, like running infinite loop thing going on, then I think I would rather have some kind of intense music going with it, not something so chill, but I, that might just be me, my personal preferences on the matter. As you can see, it looks nice, like that's the main thing I think I like about this game is that, <clears throat> sorry, I'm losing my voice slowly. I think I like about this game the most is that it just looks really good. Just like playing through it is just kind of pleasing to the face. Um, especially on easy, it's not that hard to just kind of chill and just go through it. There's that cool cityscape in the background, but you won't be seeing much of that because usually your eyes are glued on <laughs> just whatever the fuck is coming up next. Uh, the controls are, you can use either the arrow key or the WASD key. Z, I guess. So, whoo. So, just, you know, whichever controller you're more comfortable, or way of controlling you're more comfortable with. It, it, I don't think it has, it doesn't, it does not have controller support, but again, you don't really need it unless you're just someone who really needs controllers. It's not necessary to play the game at all. Um, it happened just a few seconds ago, I don't know if you guys could hear, but one of the things I do like about this game, it's, there's a lot of small touches in this game that I like. Um, and one of the biggest ones is that when you pass by really close to a thing, you can, yeah, you can hear like a little like, whoa, you just, you just fucking missed it sound. Um, which is nice, it adds like a nice level of immersion, I think, to like really feel like you're, whoa, fuck. <laughs> to really feel like you're zipping past these things. Ugh, these things always fuck me. Alright, I'm gonna die on purpose. Right here. Oh, just kidding. Right here. Um, now I'm gonna go to the medium one. Um... As you can see, my best down there is about 50 seconds. That's another thing. The mouse is visible the entire time, unless you move it to the end of the screen. There's no reason for that, because you can select things with the spacebar and move with just the mouse or the WSD keys. So I don't know why they had it so that you can still see the mouse. Maybe so you can select things easier, I guess. So you can select these, I suppose. But, but even when you start playing, you can still see the mouse, which is a little silly. But all right, here's the medium difficulty that I have not been able to survive 60 seconds on yet. So we'll see how I do while I'm talking. Who knows? Maybe me talking will make me better at this. But as you can see, <laughs> the, <laughs> the game gets a lot more difficult very quickly in this mode. Um, one of the other problems that I kind of noticed besides the mouse thing being a little annoying uh, is that... The daily ones, I believe, are created, but these, just the regular level, these are randomly generated. So you have certain, like, structures that come up a lot, like these, like, little circle sections here. Oh, thank you, game, you're giving me nice examples of this. Like, and so you can tell that these were, like, designed to ha happen in circles, you know, kind of come and force you to like, loop around the thing. But sometimes you'll get in these, and these guide you certain directions, and then you'll hit something like this, where you just can't physically, like, do it. Like, it just, like, literally, ah! Oh, I was so close to the 60 seconds! I just got a new record! Wow, I played for an hour and then fucking... Hmm. Well, anyway. 
Um, sometimes, just because of the random generation, when you get out of one of those loops, it like puts you in a very specific place, and you can't. Ooh, never heard that song before. That's cool. Um, and you can't get out. Like you physically can't win, which is a little frustrating, especially in a game like this where it's like easy to fuck up. The kind of like. The, the attraction of the game is that it feels like you were losing and so it makes you want to try again to get like a better score but if, if it just feels like the game is oh, if it just feels like the game is cheating you out of a good score then it can be kind of demoralizing and stop you from and it'll stop you from wanting to play the game again um, also at Steam this game is on Steam this game is ten dollars whereas on the Android it's only two so it it's a little overpriced, just because, like, it does look really cool, and I really like this game, but there isn't a super la large amount of things to do. Like, it's just this, like, and there's one other mode that I'll show you, but, like, besides that, it's just, like, varying difficulties of this basic theme here of just dodging glowing blue things. And while it is fun, I don't know if it's, ah, <laughs> while it is fun, I don't know if it's $10 fun. It's a little steep. So this is the last mode right here, uh, just called Cruise, and it's where you just, as the name implies, just kind of cruise along. Um, I, I haven't played this one before, so I don't know if there's actually obstacles that happen or if it's just this. It'd be a little silly if it was just this, but we'll see. Yeah, so far it looks like it's... what's the point of this? Well, whatever. I mean, I guess you can just fucking chill out, look at the background, have yourself a good time. The lighting effects are kind of cool. Um, the uh, Obviously, since this game is like a port from Android, the specs for this game are super low. Like, any computer can run this game, pretty much. Um, <laughs> oh, make myself motion sick. Alright. Uh, so, yeah. That's this game. Uh, besides being a little overpriced, if it was like five dollars, say, I would definitely say go out and get this game. Like I've playing this for like an hour, just sitting here and just doing it has been a lot of fun. What the fuck is the point of this mode? This is kind of starting to bother me. What the hell is the point of this mode? I thought this was gonna be like, thought there was gonna be stuff that happens, but it's literally just this. This is the same thing as the fucking. It's the same thing as the start menu. The only difference is that there's, like, random rings that don't do anything. What? What is the point of this? <sighs> I mean, I guess it's fine. Whatever. <laughs> hmm. Alright, well. That's it for this Let's Try, everybody. And I'll see you guys next time if I ever escape this never-ending hell of rings. Which I might not. <laughs> see you later. Welcome to Squad Talks! Squad Talks, yes, welcome. Alright, so... I thought we were calling it like... Did not pay attention, and it's just a little too easy to die. And without it actually, like, being your fault.